Well, tonight on the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, we have to look at a reality. And the reality is a lot of black people who will vote in the election in 2024, they will vote for Joe Biden. It don't matter what he do. It don't matter how much resources he takes away from black America. It don't matter how many migrants they put in our cities. They'll complain about it, but they're not going to do nothing about it. You know, listen, we got to deal with that. We got to have that conversation. Case in point, there was a guy that was in New York and he was asking people who they possibly would vote for in the 24, 2024 election. Well, I want you to listen to what these two, you know, sisters say uh, in this video. You have the option between Joe Biden and Donald mm -hmm. Trump. Yeah. You guys have to choose. I know. And a there's a lot of stuff that, you know, Donald Trump has done that is like really like, I don't know if I want to do that. But then even with the stuff that Joe Biden has said, it's still like you don't really know if he's for sure, if he's serious. So I don't like it's really iffy, but I'm going more towards Joe Biden, I guess, because I don't really like the way Donald Trump does things that he do and how he speaks to people. Yes, how he presents himself and how he speaks to people. Who do you think will make the country safer? Um, I honestly feel like Joe Biden, because Donald Trump, he just he does whatever he's like an intrusive thought so i think joe biden even though he don't really know what he's doing either but he thinks like regularly you know what i mean i yeah. think i would give it i could say both of them but because i'm leaning more towards joe biden i would say with him but joe biden does more stuff where he's trying to help other countries more than he's trying to help his own country that he's he's serving so you know that is something that could lead us to something bigger and then donald trump he was more so you know trying to help the people that he's with but then i don't know the thoughts behind that and why he's trying to do that for his people mm -hmm. so i'm going more towards joe, joe biden Joe Biden. But if, if Joe Biden's put in other countries before us, how y'all going to go for Joe Biden? If we live in America, you see exactly what I was talking about there. And listen, those two young ladies represent a section in our community. Those young ladies did not really know anything about what Joe Biden has done, what he said, and they don't even know what Trump has really done to say it. I, they only paying attention to Trump's personality, Biden's personality. So basically you're voting off of a personality contest or I like him because he speaks a little nicer. Well, Biden hasn't been speaking nice to people. I mean, do you know that he has been cursing out his aides because he's mad about his poll numbers? Hey, you know, Biden's been snappy at his people because they try to prevent him from saying something silly. Like every time they give him the microphone, they just back off from him. He says something silly and they got to go clean that up. Right. They did admit that Biden does more for other countries than they do right here in the United States. They at least see that. Now that alone should make you start to research like, okay, wh what's up with that? Why is he doing this? But you got some black people in the black community. It don't matter what a Democrat do. They gonna vote Democrat period period. And that's why I told many of you before this, what we talking about here is a marathon. It's not a sprint. We have to literally, it's going to take time to unravel the upbringing in the black community that tells you to vote blue, no matter who listen, vote blue, no matter who has been the mantra of the black community way before they came out with that. Who, who you first time you go vote, you ask, you ask your grandma, you ask your mom and them. Well, who, who, who normally should we vote for Democrat? Anybody got a D by their name, vote for them. Well, what about the other side? Like is some good people there too. We don't vote for them. That's not what we vote for. We vote Democrat. So Democrat all the way down the tick. Matter of fact, cause at that time you can definitely do, well, some states still can look it, press straight Democrat ticket and you get all the votes to the Democrats. We don't know what the Democrats stand for. We don't even know a Democrat even like black people. Cause some Democrats don't like black people, but we have been giving our votes to Democrats no matter what for a very long time. We have never been educated on the issues. We never been educated if that person even like black people or not. We don't know anything. We just see a D and vote. And like I said, that, that has really made our, our political advocacy and political action very remedial. You see a letter or a party you vote for it and don't know the issues. Don't know the, and, and listen, okay, some of them say, well, I know him. I know her. How you know him when you know her? Oh, because they came to church Sunday morning? A Sunday evening service. 
They got the, the reverend let them in a the pulpit. Oh, they hugged your baby. It don't matter if they hugged your baby. The devil himself can hug your baby. You gonna go vote for him just because he came in there and they hugged your baby? Oh, he took a picture with you, he took a selfie with you, and not know good and well what the policies are? I mean, when you talk about Biden and he's doing everything for everybody else, you voted for that. Look at look at New York right now. New York is being inundated, especially NYC, inundated with migrants. And that is the policy of the Democrat Party. And yet you as a black person in, a, in America, you're going to go and reward the party that has migrants on top of you. They're getting resources that you're not even getting as a black American. And yet you still want to go out and put Biden in office. I'm telling y'all, it don't even make sense. This is why other groups a lot of times get ahead of us because we will vote our own demise. We will vote for it. Nobody's forcing her to vote Democrat. Nobody. And yet she will willingly vote Democrat because she don't like the personality of Donald Trump. She really don't know nothing about Biden other than he do more for other countries. Well, that alone should let me say, well, I don't think I want to vote for him. At minimum, the cow should be more of the vote, right? I I'm so sick and tired of watching our people literally participate in our own sabotage. And I've said that before. We talk about, oh, we at the bottom. Oh, we always sabotage. But I've told y'all many times before, we are participating in keeping us at the bottom. No matter where we get, even in politics, those politicians, the Congressional Black Caucus, any kind of black senator, I don't care what party they're a part of, all they think about is their paycheck and the money they're getting and their backroom deals because they go into Congress, get a $100,000 a year job, and they all come out of there millionaires. Like, how does that happen? How does that happen? Most people go get a job. Let's say they're making $100,000 a year. I don't know a single person that leave that job in five years and they got $20 million net worth all of a sudden. But yet nobody looks into that. How are they getting all this money? Where it's coming from? They're more beholden to corporations, lobbyists, etc., than the community. Then we wonder why we don't get nowhere. Now, I'm not saying other group of people don't do it either, but at least they're smart enough to do for their people. At least they're smart enough to do that. But the black ones, no. The black ones advocate for immigration. The black ones advocate for, for, for war overseas, but they don't do nothing for the black community. Not a thing. If, if we really had people that say, you know what, we all gonna get on code and try to help our black America, our issues and problems will be turned around overnight. The Congressional Black Caucus won't even come out in unison and say, hey, we, we, we want reparations in the form of cash payments. And any bill that's funding any other group, we're voting no. It don't matter if it passed. We just, we just going to vote no because until you want to fund black America, then and only then will we vote on funding other groups of people or other countries. That would be a, a right stand. That would be a courageous stand by the Congressional Black Caucus. But they're not thinking like that. They're thinking Democrat Party. They're not thinking about the people. They can care less about the people. Do you think other groups of people, if they had a reparations claim like we had, that they would be moving the way some of us are moving? No. The reparations conversation should be every black person in America who are descendants of slaves should be having that conversation and say, yeah, we all on code for it. Period. But you got people who wouldn't qualify, who jumped themselves in the middle of the conversation trying to muddy the waters because they are a distant cousin from somewhere, right? And they try to say, well, y'all don't need reparations. Wait a minute. If it wouldn't be for our advocacy, you wouldn't be here. So maybe you just need to kind of take the position of, Hey man, I'm gonna support y'all because if y'all can get it, that means where I come from, we'll be getting it next. Really? That's what it would be. And I would love to see it. I would love to see global reparations happen for all affected people of African descent throughout the world. But I know we got to do it first. So it's to your interest to support us in getting it. But when you have people that's going to just vote Democrat, have no clue. This is why we don't get nowhere as a black community. This is why. And you wonder why sometimes some people even throw up their hands with it. 
and said, man, I'm only going to focus on myself, my personal family, my personal interests, because look at this. Now, some of us not going to do that because some of us get that a lot of us are lost. And I'm not putting the whole community on those two, two young women. I'm not doing that. But what I'm saying is their thought process represent a lot. And you and I won't just put it on their young because, no, that same thought process is the same Boule Martin thought process and his age group or older or in between. I'm not demonizing these two young sisters. I'm just saying that that is a thought process in our community politically. When you had this vote blue, no matter who, that's why we get nothing. Now, you do have a contingent of the black community, a lot of black men who are saying, hey, nah, we cool on that vote blue no matter who. We got to provide for our families. We got to be men. And the Democrat Party is anti-black man. We know this. A lot of black women starting to discover, wait a minute, this party is not even an, is, is anti-black. It's not even anti, it's definitely anti-black women. Because every time they bring something to black women, it always harms black women, but benefits white women. So no, we seen we seeing some things or you give a symbolism, but it's something to it. It's not nothing that's going to benefit the black community. They may say, we gave you Juneteenth. What you talking about? We did something for you. No, no, no. You, the holiday we already celebrate. Well, we gave you Supreme court justice, a woman that's never stood on business for black America. Not once, not once. That's never been her track record Two, what could she really do for black America? Nothing. You gave a job, a lifetime appointment to a individual black woman, but you didn't do nothing for the black community. Well, I, 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 I cancel student loan debt for, for some black people. You did it for some black people. Great for them. I'm glad they loans got canceled. What about the rest of black America? Do something about the cost of living. Then I can say you did some for black America pay out reparations. Then I definitely could say you did something for black America. But as of right now, you did nothing. You did it for everybody else. I mean, all the other groups should be happy with you, and they still not even happy with you. Why? Because the cost of living is bad. The cost of living affects everybody. The interest rates. People can't buy a house. We got young people who cannot afford to buy a house. Some young people can't even afford to move out their parents' house because it's that bad. And instead of you focusing your attention on making it where young people can get an apartment, they can get a house. You focusing more on Ukraine, what they doing. You focusing on Israel and what they're doing. You're not focusing on the American people. And that's why a lot of American people say you got to go. The Biden administration got to go. You know, it's, it's, you know, I, I think it's, it's sad and shameful that the, the Muslim community had to do the no committed thing. They did that. And they stood on code with that because they didn't like something Biden was doing to their community overseas. We have more of a gripe about Biden and the Democrats Biden did a 94 crime bill. He's been a segregationist and all kinds of other things. And yet we still got our people talking about voting Biden or blue, no matter who we should have, we should have went talking about no committed or whatever way before the, the Muslim community did it. You see how quickly they got on cold. They, they, they didn't waste no time. And when the media asked them, well, what did Trump win? They're like, okay, let him win. We're not going to give our votes to a guy who's harming our people overseas. And I have nothing but respect for the Muslim community that did that because they respect themselves and they respect their people. And that's why they are trying to, you notice after that, also Biden start calling Netanyahu and, and say, Hey man, you need to chill out with all that, man. Come on now. You, you need to do this a better way. All before he was, he was all cool with Netanyahu was doing over there. Right. So if that, and they are a small group, they're not a big majority in this country, the Muslim community. We have a big community yet. We can't get together and, and say, nah, bro, that's not it. We no, you're going to do something for us. or we are going to choose that couch or we'll vote Trump one to two, but we just, we're not putting up with that no more, bro. That that's the end of it. We are in a position we in in America because we don't stand together as a people. Every time we get on unison and on code, notice we get things done. That is, that is an accurate 
black history fact. When we get together, get on code and move in one voice, go in one direction, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing these people can do to us. We are, are literally our own worst enemy as a community. If we get out of our own way and, 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 and focus on, on something and get things done, nobody can stop us. Nobody could. Even if they try to sabotage, they couldn't stop it. That's our issue. But this voting blue, no matter who thing, they got to go. They got to go. Y'all need to get politically educated. Y'all need to start finding out. And listen, we live in an age of AI. We live in an age of Google and all this other stuff. Start doing some research on people, man. Before you, before you go vote for somebody. Find out their record. You don't got to go to a library no more. You can find it out through your freaking phone. Get politically educated on candidates before you go vote for them. Are they going to benefit you or our community? It's just that simple. And if none of them will choose the couch, it's okay. And if one of them will, okay. But dumping a bunch of migrants on top of black America, ain't no way in God's green earth I will go vote for Biden in that election. It's not happening. 